Each month that travel from Canada remains at a standstill, the U.S. economy loses $1.5 in potential travel exports, um, which is enough to support more than 10,000 American jobs. For well over a year now, the Canada-U.S. land border has been closed to non-essential travel. But with both countries steadily rolling out vaccines, calls to reopen from south of the border are growing. I think the a complete lockdown that we've experienced is, is just uh, not consistent with science and it's very, very bad uh, for our economies. The Canada-U.S. land border has been closed to non-essential travel since March 2020, and the closure extended every month since. But with vaccination rates soaring on both sides, even some Liberals want to see the reopening sped up. I don't care at this point. Just immediately open the border to fully vaccinated individuals with a system in place. Follow that science. Despite the pressure, sources have told French media La Presse that it won't happen this month. The Prime Minister setting an ambitious target. He wants 75% of Canadians to have two doses before reopening. As it stands, less than 15% of Canadians are fully vaccinated. Nonetheless, the Hotel Association of Canada is anxious to welcome fully vaccinated guests. If we have the majority of Americans already now double vaccinated, there is no scientific reason why they can't be coming and spending those dollars in Canada and for having our Canadian visitors who want to go to the U.S. And they may be getting a better idea of when to expect those dollars. Details on the status of the border are expected in the coming days. In Ottawa, Nigel Newlove, City News.